You know, three years after the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, Kansas families, uh, small businesses and workers are still dealing with high costs. Inflation makes it harder for our small businesses to keep their doors uh, open for our workers to put food on their tables. And um, I've been particularly focused on making sure that our domestic supply chains meet our country's demand uh, to move goods efficiently. I've been uh, proud to uh, introduce legislation to support our small manufacturers and vote for critical legislation like the bipartisan infrastructure law and uh, the major manufacturing, domestic manufacturing bill that we passed in the last session. You know, these things are helping us get our economy back on track. They're helping to create good paying jobs and, and lowering prices for um, folks back home in Kansas. Um, but there's clearly a ton of work still left to be done. I did want to... Um, touch on really, really quickly uh, that, you know, I have been working specifically on trying to figure out ways to help reshore some of our manufacturing capacity. And um, of course, I want to do more manufacturing in the Kansas third. Um, but I, I am curious, uh, speaking of lags and what the timing might look like on uh, the reshoring, our commitment to reshoring manufacturing, uh, can you share some insights on uh, how you think that might stabilize or impact the uh, about price, in, price inflections and that sort of thing? I mean, my hope is we're going to see enough disinflation over just the next 6 to 12 months that all that extra capacity that's coming online from things like the bipartisan infrastructure law won't have a huge effect on this episode but it will have an enormous effect in the future. It basically means we're not going to be in this situation again. If we're hit by a big shock three years from now, it's not going to cause anywhere near the inflationary blow-up it did this time because our supply chains will be so much more diversified and strong. So it really is an investment in the future.